It's a tour from downstairs. This is a, see a turn knob, shared little basement deal. And then that goes to the outside door. Uh, so all towards that, that tree line, way back there, past all that brush, that'd be all of ours as well. Well, his, but you know, we're renting it, but yeah. Uh, brush fire could have little bonfires. Choice. And then, so that's covered. And then upstairs, you can see steps right there. That goes towards a, a shared back deck. And then this is pretty much the downstairs washer dryer. Um, that toilet will of course go in there eventually. Thinking about doing, and I'm thinking about talking to a guy about bringing this back a little ways to maybe even extend it out a little bit for a bigger shower because this here is tiny. Toilet, sink, shower. But these eventually would have to be taken out, recessed back, and then brought through the wall for just a single knob set up instead of a dual knob. Then a little shelf that we could uh, lay a plank after we finish this off for the library, you know, when you're on your throne. But there's, there's going to be a door right here, right here, to, because all this is going to be unfinished. Um, thinking about leaving these shelves, uh, but yeah, all this is gonna be left unfinished um, unless we decide to, you know, make it a little bit nicer. If anything, finish this part out and then have like another wall here and put a door just for that, um, or just leave it open, whatever, and take these shelves out. But this is fantastic wood. I mean, this is sturdy stuff. It's beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. Um, turn the lights out over here. Then this is the area that is going to be finished. So that door is staying there. And then all this is going to get finished out. Um, chip away all this this flooring because from what it looks like over here, all this is coming up. So. See, all that's coming up, so just take a scraper through here, finish it out. It'd be nice to have a way to, you know, level it, smooth it out. Um, then, of course, this is the bathroom area. Door right there. Oh, that slammed. Um, uh, that doesn't necessarily look like it's supporting anything. That can just be knocked out. I don't like that being there. But, um, yeah, no door right there, but back there, yes. Uh, I'll have to talk to him about a wood stove situation, um, uh, because that, I didn't see a chimney, uh, anyway, so yeah, all this is going to get finished out, uh, paneled the walls, um, then your steps, oh, my closet. I forgot about that closet. Uh, no ball catch. I, I mean, I can I can fix that. I can actually reframe this, take all these out and reframe it. But put a light in here. Um, can't really see anything. It's, it's, uh, well, yeah, dark. Oh, hey, what's this? Well, that's a light, but it's not working. So, yeah. Well, it helps for it to be plugged in. I wouldn't even close. <laughs> anyway. Okay, going upstairs. <laughs> so, the bedrooms. This seems to be the master bedroom. Um, 
tall window there. It's a much short window here. Um, this this faces the the front. So, I was talking to him about having carport over there where that where the red car is. Maybe even carport there. I don't know. But that's like a private drive. It's whatever. Um, and I I would like to call dibs on this space. Huh, that's interesting. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. And then closet, small little closet. And then the secondary bedroom. Pretty tall closet here, holy crap. And all this carpet, all this carpet is going to be replaced with this hardwood flooring. Kitchen area. It's going to put a new backsplash on there. Throw in a fridge. That is staying. Not the payday, but that is staying. Um, this goes out to that shared porch, which is covered. So again, that's uh, the backyard. Uh, so yeah, all this is going to be hardwood, uh, bathroom. I think he said he's going to leave the bathroom the way that it is for the flooring anyway. But this is pretty spacious as well. Looks like bypass, bifold. Uh, I mean, it's a quaint little area. I mean, it's fine to be honest. Uh, shower, toilet. Hey, it works. Uh, I guess I had a cock size. And then the living room area. The compact for us. So shelves in. And it's down to about 10, 15 percent with LEDs. And then I had a 100% efficient, you know, 99.99% efficient um, propane heater down at my farmhouse. And I just love that thing. And it put amazing amounts of heat and hardly used a bit of it, you know. Um, we had in floor radiant heat at the place, but we uh, quit using it because it was so inefficient. You know, you're using a hot water heater to heat the floor. Yeah. As opposed to this thing just pouring 